Ladies and gentlemen, I found some more Walmart pre-Street Day Transformers stuff, and yo, it's the Scorn Street. This doesn't look anything like him. I can tell you right, it looks doesn't look anything like him. Anyway, where are the guns? I don't see them. We're gonna build this. I bought this thing because it says it has Dino Force, which looks like magnets, and I kind of like magnets. Magnets make me excited, so. Uh, Lap this thing out here, see what happens next. It's also apparently in a street, um, China Street, and uh, I, this is one of my favorite streets, so I'm kind of excited about uh, about getting my hands on some of this stuff. Got some minifigures to build, got crosshairs, there's, oh these aren't like Lego bags. I need one of these. All right. So crosshairs on the back of the box, they make a big spiel about the fact that this minifigure has goggles on his helmet. So let's see if those goggles actually uh, work out as well as they claim. Some decent printing on this uh, little body here. This is a Creon, so... Oh, you know what? This is a Creon, but I do not see stress marks on the wrist cuffs. That's already bonus points. Good job. Tiny John DiMaggio, because we just got a list of who's playing voice actors for these guys. And this little dude is apparently going to be uh, John DiMaggio. Might know him as the voice of the Joker in the Under the Red Hood direct DVD feature. This is working. Hey. Hey, that's pretty exciting. Oh. 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 And uh, he comes with a gun. Much like his deluxe counterpart. He does not seem to come with enough guns, nor does he come with uh, a trench coat. That's actually a little bit disappointing. Uh, a little bit disappointing? That is a hell of a lot of disappointing. Well, you can't all be winners. You know, you know what? You get you get to stand on your little your little brick thing. He actually comes with a Creo brick to stand on, so he's being presented as like a, a collectible minifigure, I suppose. But uh, we also got us some vehicons. Don't know if these are even going to be in the movie. <laughs> But in Creo, there appear to be movie-verse vehicons everywhere. I think that's kind of neat. I like the vehicons in Prime. They made me happy. And even if it's only a Creo thing, I think it's kind of nice to have vehicons back. Because I got that Creo vehicon set. This guy can join their ranks happily. Look at this face that uh, more than a mother would love. Surely. And, uh, oh, I forgot to put his cape thing on. Because... We're going to take a straight up magnet and slap it on his back. And then his helmet appears to have another strip uh, in there. I don't know if actually this is where the magnet is or if it's it's inside the large, extremely unsubtle dinosaur head. I'm going to just bust out this. Whoa, I dropped his gun. And I really dropped his gun. Well, we got another gun in here. I'll find the other gun later. But I want to see if these are magnets or if these are just pieces of metal. So let's see. I, hmm. These might just be pieces of metal. <laughs> let's see if I can get anything to, uh, if I can get this thing to, well, number one, if I can get this to stand up. Nope. Alright, well, what if I put you like this? I cannot tell if those are magnets themselves. I suppose if I were forward-thinking, I would have gotten something like a, a coin out or something like that. A, mag a magnetizable coin, mind you. And checked all that, but who wants to plan when you've got Creo to build? <laughs> so Creo is still sticking around after the whole thing of it becoming a... So it's a Toys R Us exclusive in the States. I found this in, in a Walmart in Canada, uh, clearly... Creo is still going to keep pressing on, uh, you know, outside of America, but I was actually thinking there for just a little while, just, you know, a couple of, uh, a scant couple of days, perhaps even weeks, that our days of Creo may have been over, but I've been proved, uh, incorrect. Let's open up the main bag. I think we're going to be building us a dinosaur claiming to be Scorn. And then a quote-unquote street chase scene, which consists of a large Chinese flag and a tile for it to sit on, if I understood the box correctly. 
Hey, you know what? Maybe the box is leaving out some important details. We'll find out in a second. The instructions are slightly farther away from me than I'd like. Let's get a little bit close, a little bit, uh, a little bit tight. Oh, we're gonna build the street first. Good. So, I'm taking this. And, uh, what am I putting on here? I already cannot find a part. I'm really good at this. Is it under here? <laughs> no. <laughs> What's happening? What's the part I need? I need I need a little, a little nipple thing. Where's the nipple thing? Here's the nipple thing. Alright. Let's get back to this. Let's get back on topic. I haven't built Creo on a V-Build for, uh, for a little while, so... You know, I'm, I'm getting back into the swing of things. Building some kind of flagpole. Oh, it's sticker time. Alright. This is exciting. By the way, I don't know what this means. So, uh, let me know. I want to know what street I'm putting together. Let's see if this is cut to fit. It is absolutely not. That's okay. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. That's not what I wanted to do. I guess this whole thing of using a knife to carefully lay the flag on is not going to happen, so I'll just try to get it at least on here straight and not too crooked. That's okay. There. Let's do the other side. I don't know. Anyone out there uh, out there watching this who's, who's kind of pumped that Creo is kicking around? Uh, I know Mega Bloks has its own... Uh, no group of followers and fans. I never quite got it straight if Creo had that, or if everyone was kind of just buying Creo out of a, a weird combination of morbid curiosity and perhaps vague pity. Who knows? Not to say that Creo needs to be pitied. It may actually be selling well above its profit margins. <laughs> I don't know uh, how simple Creo stuff has been to make, but. There's some interesting bits in here that could be useful for those willing to to cross-mix their species of brick. Um, namely, there are bricks in here with magnetable, magnetable things attached. So, that could be of use to some of you mockers out there. Alright, I have built China. So, uh, this is China. It's a f fairly densely populated country. And uh, half of my own... Uh, I guess nationality. Well, I'm Canadian, but birth nationality. So I feel a small bit of pride. Let's make a dinosaur. Um, the thing that was throwing me off about these instructions is that in the instructions, this color looks borderline black. And I was really confused for a second trying to find that nipple piece. So now I know how they're... Uh, they're parsing their colors. I'm going to put this together this way because I want to. Thank you. I was getting worried there. I thought I'd already hit some kind of off-brand non-tolerance, but all is well. Seems to go in here. And then we got some kind of small ball joint thing. Shots fired at the mixels, clearly. And... What do I need? I need one of these... Some kind of tapered geometrical wedge. Okay, this is happening. I'm, I'm peering over the instructions because they're just large enough for me to not really be able to stand them up like that, so I'm laying them down. So I'm, I'm craning my neck over the camera to see the instructions because who needs to be comfortable when they're building Creo? Uh, not me. I like to do this hard style. I was curious if there were going to be little ball joints on this kit or not. I wasn't sure if LEGO had uh, cornered the market with their Mixel componentry. I also haven't built a whole lot of actual Creo brick kits, so maybe these have been floating around in Creo for a long time. And I am just being ignorant. It's happened before. Get on there. 
The tolerances on these uh, bricks aren't too bad. For a second, as I said, I thought things were going to get... Whoa! Difficult. I just knocked a brick off the desk. Luckily, I can see it. Come back here! I gotcha. But yeah, these things are not feeling too mushy. Uh, they don't feel like the, the peg connections are... Or, sorry, the stud connections are, uh, are too easy to pull apart. And we're going to build a gun. Good times. This is kind of neat. This is like a circular thing with a ball socket on the bottom. Just a socket, sorry, not a ball socket. Let's get this on here. Anyone else out there uh, getting getting the feeling that they want to go after some of this Age of Extinction Creo, or is it just gonna just more more of that stuff that has the Transformers logo on it that gets you excited for a half second and you realize, oh no, wait, it's Creo, and you walk out of uh, the store grumbling. Not sure how I feel about about all the new Creo popping up. Some of it looks kind of interesting. I uh, I want to know if there's anything truly interesting being done with this Dino Force magnet technology, beyond like, hey, this one has a magnet. This one has something that I can attract or repel. Excitement! Like I'm hoping it's more than that. This is n uh, there's a, another piece involved in this build. This wasn't very clear in the instructions. They're definitely channeling some of the worst ends of Lego-style instructions here with semi-confusing hues and sometimes just straight up having pieces teleport onto other pieces, making you look up at that parts count. I don't know, man. But I think I've built me... This is a little bit loose, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Looks like I have built myself a leg. With a ball-jointed gatling gun on the hip. I guess that happens. Looks like we're going to build the other one, too. So, uh... You know that stuff you just saw. I hope you're ready to see it all over again. Perhaps slightly modified... In order to present it in a fashion that, uh... Creates... A symmetrical leg. Yeah, you see? We're going to switch this up. Oh... Ball's on this side now, son. Well, I feel excited. This is the only set I saw. I was actually back at that Walmart a few days later, and they just still have this one set. They had, like, four of them sitting there uh, when I walked by and went all like, Hey, that looks like fun. So, someone at that Walmart very specifically was like, You know what? If I'm going to break street date on Creo, I'm going to do it for Scorn. And hey, I respect that. Scorn is obviously the most iconic hero of the new movie. Uh, he's also clearly the leader of the Dinobots, but with him being the red one. And I don't know if I need to explain that to some of the laymen out there, but uh, maybe look up the Power Rangers sometime, and you'll understand where I'm coming from. Eh, this is odd. I'm this is a different shape. Did I miss something on the last one? I think I missed something on the last one. I did! Look at that. This was supposed to, uh... Oh man, brick separator. <laughs> Why did I leave you over on the other table? This is supposed to go here. And then this goes here. It fit together logically before, but okay, now we have a smooth curvature going now. That makes more sense, I suppose. Alright, doing this right, we're doing this right. Time to build another gun! Guns are fun. The kids love them. Just check out all those Call of Duty Mega Blocks kicking around. I know the Call of Duty Mega Blocks are, are, are arguably a collector oriented line, you know, that happens to be sold at the toy stores, but come on. Like, a majority of the kids playing Call of Duty. Did I forget another thing? No, okay. <laughs> this one is a different shape gun. And it involves one of these things. So I, I thought that I'd forgotten to do something on, a, on the previous gun again. But no. I'm doing it right. I'm doing it for the people. Where's the other barrel? Supposed to be another one of the... Wait a second. You know, sometimes you just gotta slow down. 
and take in the finer things in life. <laughs> you gotta stop and think to yourself, hey, am I doing the right thing or am I doing the wrong thing? Sometimes you're doing the wrong thing. Thank goodness something is on strike. Or I would not be hearing the end of this! Okay. Now we're on track. We're just about done with symmetrical things. We're gonna get into some one-shot, one-off, one-piece, unique builds. Using high amounts of imagination and brick engineering wizardry. And by that, I mean we're gonna be using a huge thing that looks like a dinosaur body and then a straight up dinosaur head in a bag. Let's take it out of the bag. All right. How rubbery is this? Hella rubber. All right, that's good. That's good. It's a it's a firm rigid PVC, so it's not going to be like drooping, I think at any given time. It's it's probably going to spring back into this nice spiky position. And you know what? This feels pointy and I bet if I smack myself in the face with it, it would still hurt. So I'm not going to test that. I'm just gonna gonna run with the assumption here. All right, so I want to put this oriented like this. Yeah, there's a picture up here in the instructions. It's all like, hey, orient it like that, fool. And I gotta stack some of these bricks. It's gotta thicken this out. I wonder if this uh, like stock dinosaur body is the one they're gonna use in a couple of these guys. I wonder if like Slug has this as well. Um, looks like it's meant to be used in a variety of different ways. Not sure if I'll go and just find out if that's the case, but I'm supposed to flip this over now and then get some of those long and thin things together. What is this? It's one of these. Okay. And then stick this little cheese wedge on top and plug that in. I think something just cracked, but I'm not sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're gonna use some more of these weird little, uh, double grippy claw thingies and stick some of this yellow stuff together. A good old-fashioned pastime. The affixation of yellow things to other yellow things is sometimes slightly brown. I think this is a tail. Yep, I gotta stick some little spikes in it. Oh wow, the picture in the instructions I don't think looks a whole lot like these spikes. You tell me. Those don't look a lot like the things I'm sticking in here, but... Maybe I'm being a little bit picky. Hey guys, I'm recording this on uh, on Mother's Day, by the way. My mom's visiting. And uh, we're having a good time. Went and hung out with my brother. And this is a completely malformed <laughs> connection. These, this connection is pretty terrible. These things are not sticking in here much at all. Like, badly enough that it makes you think maybe I'm supposed to glue them in. Wow, okay, here's some of that non-Lego quality going on. Look at these. That's gonna make Aaron happy, I'm sure. He's sitting there rubbing his hands together. Yes, yes, Vangelis, make the, make the off-brand look terrible. Yes. I'm feeling slightly aroused. Yeah. That's what Aaron sounds like, by the way. Tune into WTF and TFW, fine Transformers podcast made by Transformers fans, where we only talk about Transformers. Uh, that's pretty much what Aaron sounds like. And uh, if you don't believe me, as I said, just tune in and you can confirm it. This is stuff is cracking apart when I'm putting it together. I don't know about this. Oh, Dinobot mouth contains magnet. They say so right in the instructions, so I guess this is the, the real deal here. And then I'm uh, going to take a couple of these cross pins and affix his legs. Which leg goes where? This leg. This leg goes over here. This is a cross pin connection. Does this mean the legs don't actually swivel at the... Oh no, they... Oh, there's a ratchet joint inside there. That's why I didn't get to build that. That's actually kind of cool. I was about to trash on this thing. It feels pretty good, too. I hope it, it uh, stands up to play. Alright, I'm feeling like... I don't know how to explain this. I feel almost turned around on how uninspired I was building this thing so far. Because that's a, that's a strong little piece of articulation there. That's 
Some, something to feel good about, Creo. Good work. All right. I think we just got to build him some little arms and then we're done. Stand fake scoring over here. He's... Oh, wow. <laughs> Hang on. These leg joints, they are not... They are not very happy to, uh, to have a lot of uh, weight put on them. If I put them down like this, and I'm like trying to bend them back, he's just... Yeah, that's too heavy. Whoop. That's, uh, that's way too heavy. I just ripped both his legs off. Yeah, so those ratchet joints feel great. Would be nice if there were more of them. Because the other quote-unquote joints in his legs, they are definitely not meant... Like, his legs gotta be... They gotta be straight. They gotta be stock straight still. <laughs> I think. Or he'll just fall over. Oh, well. As I said... You tried, you got close. Don't feel too bad about that. Let's uh, build his little hands. So we're taking this, sticking this on here. That's one part done, and then we take one of these, give it one of these, give it a little triangle venti cheese wedgie thing. Okay, and we have a hand. I'm gonna actually just guess what happens next. I'll put this in here. Oh, you know what? I should actually put this in here because there's a hard stopping point here. I'm gonna put both of these in here. Gonna get Nostradamus on yo ass. Yep. Other joint. Cool. Uh, where are the other? Oh man, one of his tail spikes already fell out again. There's some cool things about this set, and there are some bummer things about this set. Let me tell you. Anyway, let's build another one of these. Definitely not feel- Oh, wow! <laughs> that didn't finish pouring, clearly. Alright. Creo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's, uh, that's for the Aaron highlight reel, definitely, for sure. Anyway, what was I saying? Uh, well, that really cements what I was about to, to go into, which I don't really feel inspired to hunt down all the Creo and Age of Extinction sets, like the Scorn one. This will go nicely with my weird little Scorn obsession, but holy crap. <laughs> that was a garbage piece of building brick I had right there, and I totally guessed the rest of this right. Okay, so let's see how this magnet stuff works. Open his mouth... That's the weakest magnet. Oh, okay, it's working a bit better here. He's all like, ah, I got him. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Guys, this is ex let's get let's get down to ground level here. And oh wait, this thing this thing's totally off balancing him. Okay, well. <laughs> let's see this action feature at street level. Let's put we're on China Street, we've got crosshairs over here going like, yeah, shoot him. Um, this one's got a gun, so he's trying to fend this guy off. Let's let's have his hapless buddy be the one who, who eats it here. Oh, there goes a spike. Hang on. There goes the, you know what? Let's forget about those spikes. I'll put them over here. Let's see if the back... Whoop, sorry. Let's see if the back magnet works. It does. All right, that's actually not a bad magnet. I don't know if that's the back magnet happening here, or is that something else? Uh, does he attract up here, too? Yep. So these are probably not magnets. These are probably just pieces of magnetic material. Because they are sticking to any side of this guy. He's actually sticking up there way better. <laughs> you come with me. Alright, I'm going to eat your head. Alright, hey, come back. Alright, now I'm going to bounce you on my nose. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I think magnets and toys are fun. I think the ratchet joints inside the core body on this is a great thing. I think that the free spinning tail here is pretty dumb. And I think those rubber spikes are garbage. There's... There's a whole lot of up and down with this set. I, these V-Builds, as I say before, these are not really reviews. These are more like I'm just talking about it as I'm playing with it. But Jiminy Cricket, man. like <laughs> There's like some decent toy technology in here wrapped in a pretty ineffective barrel. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do what must be done. Get some dino riding going on. And then uh, I will say... Thank you very much for checking this out and, uh, and sitting down with me to build a piece of uh, Transformers Creo for that Age of Extinction. Definitely uh, is a flawed piece, to be sure. 
He, well. <laughs> See, I'm trying to put him down like this, and it just gives away. Alright, this head is really heavy. I think that's a part of it, but... That's the Scorn Street Chase. Hope it was a good time for you. Because I'm... Well... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.